I had a feeling the audio wasn't working. How's it now? Man, what? Why would it do that to me? Can you guys hear me now? Still no audio? Oh my gosh. Okay, wait. So I'm good? Okay. Um, hmm. I'm not sure how I can show you this, but. Oh. So what I had it was. <clears throat> I'll move this over here. You see that right there? So the setting I had before I started was, um, I had... ...have this added. So, yeah. That's why it was not working. Sorry about that. <sighs> okay. Now I gotta refocus myself. Okay. Wait, what? No, I think we're good now, right? The four bros, what's up? Stop clicking. I was just showing you what, ha what had happened, that's why. But it makes no sense. OBS, why would you show some input going through with the, uh, the audio levels if it was not on? Um, what's the best GPU for $200? It's gonna be like a GTX 1060 or RX 580. Um, or like a 970. If you're lucky, you can find like a 980 for that, but, uh, yeah. You're definitely not going to be in the 1070 territory unless you get really lucky, kind of like I did. Or, uh, I think some other people have posted they've gotten 1080s for that price too. So that's just like super lucky deals. But if you want to find something pretty easily, you're going to be looking at like GTX 970, RX 580, uh, GTX 1060, ballpark. <clears throat> College summer program is rough. Pika, uh, how many credits or whatever would it be? Is it like kind of like a halftime thing or are you doing like basically full-time classes right now? <clears throat> RX 550 for $40, where? Uh, that's not too bad. Wait, the prices will be even lower. Um, oh yeah, Espen, what uh, bundle did you find? I saw that you put that, but you didn't put what the bundle was. Uh, 1080 Ti's. Ooh, for 480 and 500, those are both really good prices. I know uh, JD Tech Gear recently picked one up on eBay. He knows it was used for mining, but uh, that's fine. Um, and yeah, he got it for like 500 bucks. So, uh, for like 480, that's not too bad. You want to see more land videos? We actually already did the land. Um. And I've started editing part one of the land party stories, but I have other stuff I need to do first. So I'm kind of putting that on hold, but all the land already happened. It was pretty good, kind of crazy. Uh, and yeah, I'll, I'll try to get that done by September, hopefully. Good laptop for gaming under 600 bucks. Uh, I know 600, that's a little... I would say if you could go up to like 650 or 700, uh, basically all the manufacturers have a version out with like an i3 or an i5 with a 1050 Ti in it. Uh, right now, I didn't I didn't see any deals today for a laptop like that, but uh, they usually have it every week or so. Um, six credits, two classes, full time class, first year writing. Uh, that takes out humanities. They also have curfew. It's, huh. Are you dorming right now, Pika? Is that what you're doing? Are you ever going to do any more Craigslist ride-alongs? Yeah, it's not like I haven't been trying to do Craigslist ride-alongs. It's that um, my Craigslist deals have been falling through. I've tried a couple of them, uh, and the guy, or the people rather, canceled, or they stopped responding. And I've been picking up a lot of things online, so that also kind of, like has been pushing the Craigslist ride-alongs because um, I've been finding really good deals online, so there's no ride-alongs for those. But, yeah. Um, you're in mandatory study hours, yet you're watching the stream. Nice. Uh, to you a screenshot of the... Oh, yeah, let me pull that up. Um, we are about... You, oh, you live in Issaquah. Nice. Uh, thanks for supporting the channel and the stream survivor. Um, 
And I, I don't go to Issaquah too often. It's kind of a far drive for me. Uh, though I've seen deals pop up there. I've been kind of lazy. Yes, 25 inch 1080p monitor for 70 bucks. Really good deal. Uh, yeah, that's a really good price. I'm assuming that's used. Because if that's a new deal, shoot, I would hop on that. Um, 580 for 200 bucks, a good deal. That's how much they're pretty much going for. Uh, for some reason, they haven't dropped in price as much as 1060s have. Okay, so let me let me uh, switch the camera over. Oh yeah, and by the way, today's shirt, dude. I actually wearing this makes me feel like a, a character in like a video JRPG or something. You know how those have those cloaks or a Hobbit, I guess. But I'm wearing the same color shirt as my basically my green screen. It's like a neon yellow. But let's get this stream started. It's been like five minutes. Let's go. All right. If I can even remember what I'm doing. Soul Stream Firefox. Here we go. All right, so uh, I didn't see any B stock deals today, but we can always check. As long as they have the power supplies or something, it's worth giving a look. All these kind of crappy low end cards that no one really wants up front. Um, I really like grabbing the power supplies from here. I actually grabbed two more recently for only ten bucks a piece. Uh, that was like a really quick sale that went away really fast okay so 30 bucks not really worth it because best buy has these exact power supplies that go on sale every so often uh brand new for 30 bucks when they're on sale so um okay i think that's the only thing there's not gonna be any graphics cards deals i'm pretty sure gtx or gt 1030 so uh, what's the cart price we're looking at 70 bucks isn't that how much they're supposed to be like brand new um, I thought GT1030 MSRPs were... It was supposed to be, uh, uh, new eggs, uh, that's from PC World. Where's that official? So when they launched, they were around 70 to 75. Yeah, so the fact that this isn't that great of a deal, this is kind of, uh, because it's B stock, it should be worth even less, so not really worth it there i saw people were posting 1050s for 100 bucks or i guess 95 here uh with free shipping that's i i still think that's a little too high because for 95 dollars, i think in the used market you can find something better than the 1050 uh i would go for like a gt x 960 or an amd side i guess i would push for like a 7950 or a, uh, r9 280 uh it didn't let me put a link let's see what happened our uh um amaruo you can't link in here without putting spaces so what we've been doing is using bitly so go to bitly put the link in and then put a couple of spaces in there and uh you should be able to link or you can tweet it at me and i'll open it once we get to that part of the uh the stream Okay, um, which PSU, PSU would you choose for 200 bucks? Asks Jonathan. I wouldn't buy a power supply for $200, like, ever. Uh, though the, uh, Seagate, or not, uh, Seasonics, rather, uh, they have some pretty high-end ones with 10-year warranties for around, like, $100 price point after rebate. I would probably go for that. I would, I wouldn't need those platinum-rated 1200-watt extended power supplies uh 1080 ti for 750 founder edition that's not a good price we're seeing 1080 ti's in like the 650 dollar price point right now so okay split tech nice wow that's a really good deal two wait for 500 bucks a piece or for for both which means they're 250 bucks a piece Man, I would I would take that really fast because I could upgrade my 1070, probably sell that for like 250, and then that'd be like a 250 dollar 1080. Um, 80 bucks for a RX 460 is not too bad. All together, did you pick it up? 
Let me send you some money right now so that you can grab that and then you can send that to me. Dual, I don't, I don't mess with SLI or Crossfire. I, I just don't think it's worth it for whatever performance gain you're supposedly going to get, uh, especially with the lack of support with it across uh, a lot of titles. I'd buy a 1070. Well, I, I would need to upgrade it to a 1080 first before I could sell my 1070. Uh, check out what the slick deals have got for us. We got some Fire Emblem for the Nintendo Switch, which I've really been wanting to get because I want to play Octopath Traveler. But I don't think that's justifies paying or uh, buying a new system for 300 bucks. Could probably emulate it. <laughs> When is the next gen GPUs coming out? I'm not sure. I don't know. People are speculating what? Early September? Is I think I've heard that. I the thing about the next gen GPUs though is I don't I can't see them having the same performance bump as they've had the last two generations. Like if you look at uh the seven hundred to nine hundred to ten series cards, uh the top end card like the seven eighty Ti was roughly equivalent to the next gen 70 series card right so 70 780 ti was about equivalent to a 970 a 980 ti was equivalent to about a 1070 i can't see the 1080 ti being about equivalent to an 1170 it's just because you know the launch price uh or the price of the 1080 ti's are still really expensive they're like 650 to 700 bucks uh, so who's going to be buying the 1100, uh, 1170 card if it's priced the same like that? I don't know. Uh, okay, so Mr. OG Gamer, I do see your Bitly thing. I'm not sure uh, what this... Ah, there's too many spaces. That didn't work. <laughs> Why didn't that work? Why did this not work? Oh, PC Park Picker, there we go. Alright, we got it up. You picked up an i5 6600K, 1060 6GB rig, include keyboard and mouse. What? For 387? Wow. Uh, what what did it have in terms of uh, RAM and hard drives? Like, did it have SSD and stuff too, and like 16 gigs of RAM? Because if it did, that makes the deal even sweeter. But that graphics card, let's see, for so it's essentially 400 bucks. Yeah, dude, that's a really good deal. <laughs> Is that going to be your main rig now, or did you pick it up just because it was something good and now it's like a side PC because you already have something that's better? Um. Oh, your seven-year-old's Minecraft Roblox PC. That is a very uh, overpowered PC for the, that usage. But uh, can you upload a how to move games from an OS onto an SSD? On uh, Usually there's a lot of... Here, I'll go over and see. Uh, what do I usually use? Uh, there's EaseUS uh, Backup uh, Cloning. It, there's a bunch of cloning programs. I haven't cloned anything for a really long time, so... Um, so, EaseUS is one of the programs I've used in the past. But I'm trying to think of... Uh, what have I used more recently for hard drive cloning? Let's see if it comes up as... Acronis, is that the one I've used? Uh, I know I've used that before. For oh Macrium, Macrium Reflect, Macrium Reflect. This is what I use. Uh, so you basically have both hard drives plugged in at the same time, and then you just follow the instructions that say which drive do you want to go from. Uh, like let's just say your main drive to your SSD. The only thing about these is usually you have to. Uh, you, of course, the drive that you're coming from, it has to have less data on it than the one you're going to. Um, but usually if they're different sizes, it'll work out. Basically, what it'll do, it'll partition off 
the uh, larger drive so it's the same size as the one you're going to and then it'll uh it'll clone it and this is free to use so this is this is actually the one that i use uh, anytime i have to clone a drive what would you pay for 16 gigabyte kits of ddr3 right now i think ddr3 is worth around 30 bucks for eight gigs from what i've been seeing so around 60 bucks no more than 70. um i actually haven't been watching the ddr3 market because i don't have any parts uh that use it everything i've been uh picking up basically has been ddr4 and i want to do that moving forward uh except for when i do really cheap older builds but Let's see, uh, Travis, see. oh man, eight gigabytes, okay. And then 250 gigabytes SSD, nice. <laughs> nice, Travis. Uh, yeah, I haven't never done that, but Macrium Reflect, I've, I found was kind of like the easiest one. I've used quite a few of them as just in my time of, uh, looking for the best one and i've kind of settled on macrium so or Mac i'm not sure how it's pronounced but okay so this is a link that who posted this uh, this is mr og gamer i think so what is this build did did you explain what you wanted me to do with this um Oh, you're doing a Ryzen build. I see. Okay. <sighs> okay, so you're getting a 2700X. Expensive motherboard. <laughs> okay. Getting that RGB Corsair Vengeance. Uh, so it's going to be a high-end build. But what's the graphics card with the 1080? Okay. Um, your 500 gig 850 EVO. Okay. I think these have gone for a little bit less, maybe like 20 bucks or so less, but everything else looks pretty fairly priced, especially I'm, get, I'm guessing you're buying this all brand new, uh, and this is kind of all like the newest higher end parts. So I don't really have much to critique here. I say, I would say it looks pretty good. Um, 14 bucks, <laughs> so you're getting like a Kingwin Windows 10 key. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't have much to critique here. This looks pretty standard. Um, and then if you... I'm not sure if you're buying this all at once or if you're buying this as the deals come. You could probably save like 10 or 20 bucks here and there uh, as deals come in for each of these items. Um, yeah. Man, this is an expensive motherboard. 200 bucks. Oh, don't worry about prices. If, the, if prices uh, aren't a thing to worry about, then yeah. Uh, I don't think, uh, what are you going to do for the CPU cooler? Are you going to use a stock one? You're getting all these high-end parts, but I'm not seeing any aftermarket one. You're just going to use the, uh, that RGB Spire or whatever it's called that comes with this. Buying in Ireland, so it's not correct prices. Got it. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a sweet build. Uh, pretty high end. What are you gonna use it for? Okay. Um. Wi-Fi range extender. We have a pre-built here for basically eleven hundred dollars. It's a Dell with a eighty-seven hundred. Okay, sixteen gigs of RAM. With a 1070 in it, those are I've been finding them pretty easily for 300 bucks in the used market. So new, we'd expect that to be around like 350, 350 plus around like 250, I I feel like you could build something and save save like 100 to maybe 150 compared to this. Uh, just looking at it really quick. Um, live stream by you mean uh crisis right along my imminent death is worth some views um i've like i've said earlier i've been looking and i haven't found anything in my local craigslist area that i've needed to pick up 
Uh, but I always have my camera ready, so. Best 34 inch monitor for the price. 34 inch, I'm guessing that's like an ultra wide. Do they have 34 inch? Uh, it's usually 32 if it's uh, non ultra wide. So you can find ultra wide 1080p's at 34 inches for like 300 bucks. Pretty standard these days. And whether it be, and it's usually the LG one. Uh, I think Mono Price has one too, but I don't know which one is the best. I've only owned one, but I really like my LG one. It's only 60 hertz though, so some people might have a problem with that. Um, there's like, there's almost always an ultra wide deal. 34 inch. So this one is a 1440p version for 500 bucks. Uh, from Rakuten, but I swear there was a cheaper one recently. Sort by newest. You've been without your gaming PC for three weeks and have been totally fine. What were you playing beforehand, Pika? Before you uh, had to leave, you left your PC at home for your little brother to kind of use, right? Because your parents wouldn't let you bring it to college. Okay. Um, yeah, so we're, if you look at, oh, fr that's a fries deal, uh, 500 bucks, okay, where's all the 1080p ones for like 300 that I was just seeing over and over within the last month or so? Oh, uh, here's one. It's, I think it's over now though, unfortunately. I would say, oh, wait, what? What's the price? Dang it, I gotta sign in. This one is how old. This might be a dead deal. This was about two weeks ago. Two to three weeks ago. It was a 225 for a 34 inch ultra wide. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a dead deal, so I'm not gonna show it, but uh, keep an eye on build a PC sales because 1080p ultra wides pop up there a lot. Hey, what's up, Gerard? Welcome to the stream. Uh, and yeah, Split Tech, you are correct. Sometimes you see me editing the video uh, in the in another video, and it kind of gives you a clue on what's coming up next. But um, when am I doing a build update? My build update is when I just ordered another part for the my new build, but uh. I'm 90% sure on what case I'm going to go with, so I just have to be 100% sure before I do the, the full thing. Um, yeah. You have a new... Uh, wait, Little Brother has a gaming laptop. The most powerful game I played was totally accurate Battlegrounds. Okay. Uh, are you using a laptop in college, I'm guessing, Pika? Which one do you have again? Is it a... Did you have one with like a 1050 or like a 960 or something? I forget. It's been a while. Hey, Gerard, good to see you as well. Um, Bates says, My brother bought a pre-built Ryzen 1400s and he would like to upgrade some parts to get stable 144 hertz in Fortnite. What would you recommend to upgrade? The graphics card is definitely holding that back. Uh, I would suggest... Uh, 144 hertz? I don't even know if a, like a 1060 or 580 can push that consistently. Like without dipping below 144 um, at max settings. You definitely gonna want something at least a 1070 or a 1080. Um, so that, that's gonna cost like half of what that total build cost. Acer is my laptop upgrade. What is this laptop? So you have in there a, I'm not sure if you have this exact version, they might have different ones with like a 940 MX or what graphics does it have? MX1, what is the graphics in this? Oh, is that, is that you have integrated graphics? Um, which I, 
I haven't played that totally... Was it a totally real battleground or whatever game you were mentioning? I just saw this theme video on it the other day, though. It looks pretty funny. Okay, 940MX. Okay, that's pretty decent uh, for esports stuff. I used to have one until my laptop got stolen when we lived at my old house. I had just bought it, and like three months later, it gets stolen when we got broken into. Uh, that one was a i5 Skylake uh, 940MX one. Oh. Uh, I would pay eighty dollars for a GTX seven seventy. So eighty USD to euro, oops, is about seventy euros. Okay, maybe seventy five euros, because I know the prices over there. Your your guys's market isn't flooded with used parts like ours is. So maybe add like a ten percent factor to that. Okay. Uh, whoops. So let's see if there's anything and build a PC sales in the last few hours because I haven't had a chance to check it for about that amount of time. If you guys have any Craigslist deals or Facebook Marketplace or um, Offer Up, Let Go, and you want us to kind of take a look and help you with like the pricing to see if anything's worth it, be sure to uh, shoot it to my Twitter and I will get to that in a second. Oh, 1080 Ti's. I, I could have sworn we just saw one for uh, ten for 650 today. Where are you at? Uh, here's 750. Hmm. Oh, uh, was that a op okay? So it was open box turbo. So Newegg has some deals right now with rebate though and promo codes that bring uh, 1080 Ti's a little bit over 650. Zotac, this was one day ago. Are, is this, nope. Okay, so all these deals seem like they're dead. 689 plus $20 off promo. I think this might be the cheapest one. Though I'm not sure which one not yeah, okay, so here's two of them for uh just a little over six fifty. I guess they're even closer to seven hundred if they're stacks, but I don't know which one I would pick. I'd have to do more research because these aren't the high end models from Gigabyte and MSI. These are kind of their like cheaper uh bind cards with lower clock speeds, so yeah, if you want, you would want the MSI uh, Twin Frozer cooler on this one, and then for the Gigabyte, what was their high end one? Uh, or does that jump over to the RS line at that point? Or is it is Wind Force? Uh, you would want the Wind Force for this one. Um, okay, is a i5 6600K 165 bucks? Is that decent? Nah, that's a little overpriced. I've I think you can find 6,600Ks for a little bit cheaper than that. But we'll see if I can buy any, find any for buy it now uh, for less than, what did you say, 165 bucks? So here's one where you can do a best offer or you can buy it now. This looks like a legit seller. You could buy it now for, I'll link this. I'm not sure if you're actually looking for it or if you're just randomly looking for deals. But this one will come out to 140 bucks. You can also make an offer for even lower and get it for maybe like 120 out the door. So, yeah. <laughs> Sh uh, Shank Sam says uh, people who look at these types of GPUs are, I mean, you can build like a good mid-range system for $700 and some people spend that on just a graphics card. It's kind of crazy. Um, I mean, my build's not too much more than 700 bucks. It's like a thousand. So a lot of people, I mean, some people who get 1080 Ti's or 1080 in SLI, they've spent more on graphics alone than my pretty high-end computer. So it's, it's crazy when you think about it like that. Uh, but it's all relative. <laughs> 
It's Adrian, aka uh, Tide Pods. <laughs> I'm probably gonna change later from three fan to double fan GPU. The 290X you have takes so much space. Uh, yeah, it is a pretty long card. Though, do you need the space for anything else in your uh, Corsair 240, Philip? Hey, what's up, Ryan L? Welcome to the stream. Okay, is it safe to buy a UCPU and RAM? Yes, it is safe. We do it all the time on this channel, and a lot of other channels do it too. Um, the only thing is that, I mean, I've never run into a person who has overclocked their CPU or RAM to the point of damaging it. Though, that might just be luck. Though, I haven't seen other YouTubers complain about that either, or make videos about that. So I'm not sure if that's a common problem you have to really worry about. Ooh, I thought that was the OBS for a second. Let me look at my Craigslist real quick. My local Craigslist and see how much 1080 TIs are going for. Whoops, TI. So we got people selling these PCs. Okay, here's a 600 bucks one for a For the Win edition. A For the Win 3. Uh, so 600 bucks here. Another 600 bucks here for a PNY blower style. 1080 for 430 and um yeah so looks like in the used market you should be looking for 600 to 650 bucks for a 1080 ti actually i would say 600 if you can get them brand new on new egg for around 650 to 670 uh, check Twitter. Okay, I see. I can't seem to send links with spaces. Keep either put more spaces split or just shoot them to my Twitter, and then I'll uh, I'll pull them up in a second. Cause I oh wait, we haven't even checked build the PC sales yet. Okay, uh, like this, I don't think this is worth that at all. Two hundred thirty bucks for an eight gigabyte five eighty. Um, I would look for something used. You can get way better performance out of a 1070, and th you can find those for two, like 300 bucks, and I think it'd be worth it. Uh, 580s have not come down in price as much as 1060s have. Here's an eight terabyte drive that you can open up and use as a s internal drive. Eight terabytes for a 136. I was considering getting this, but it's 5400 RPM, which is pretty slow. Uh, 2200G for 90 bucks. Ah, on Amazon too. I like this processor. What if you water cool a 1080 Ti with an AIO? You could. Uh, the AIO is gonna run you about like what, 70 to 80 bucks. Uh, but you're gonna have to come up with a mounting solution for that. Whether that be zip ties or I don't know what else. Another week, what's up? Feeling the lime green. What's up, DC? Uh, yeah, this is like very translucent. Uh, not translucent, what am I saying? Fluorescent, rather. Uh, yellow. I don't think I've ever worn this shirt on stream before. Or I don't wear this often because it's just so bright. And I kind of made a mistake of buying it. But it works for stream. Zip ties all the way. Um... But you also got to make sure you get sufficient cooling for all the other components, not just the die on the graphics card. So you'd have to look into that and make sure it's actually safe so that the rest of the things on the PCB aren't overheating. Um, okay. G Oops. Uh-oh, it froze. What happened? Hello? Did it unfreeze? My bad. I don't know what I did. Uh, I think it's because I minimized the pro the uh, the DSLR program that I use for the camera. Uh, when you when it minimizes, I think it freezes. So sorry about that. Um, this is a pretty good deal right here on this T Force Vulcans. I actually use these exact same sticks in uh, the APU build that I did. 140 bucks for uh, 3,000 megahertz RAM for 16 gigabytes. Um, this is actually not that common of a deal. Uh, we're finding a lot of deals of 2133 and 2400 megahertz, but I remember in the last week or two, I was looking specifically for 3000 megahertz RAM, and there wasn't that many that were coming down this low in price. They have like the RGB versions and stuff, uh, but 
those are in like the hundred seventy dollar price point. So this is a pretty good deal for if you're looking for three thousand megahertz kind of plain looking RAM right now. And I mean these aren't too plain; they actually look pretty cool. They're, at least they're not like green bare PCB, but uh, yeah, this is a pretty good. It would be a pretty good pickup if you needed sixteen gigs right now. Um, hey, what up, Quato Kato? Q A T O. I'm not sure how that's supposed to be pronounced. I'm guessing Kato because there's no U. Is there any way you can buy 700 or 900 series cards shipped and not meet up purchases? Oh, uh, yeah. eBay. Um, let me... GTX. I'm pretty sure we can find something for like... Let's see. Oh, I always go to buy it now. I don't like dealing with bids. So, oh man. You might be able to like... Oh, this is for parts only? What the heck? Why is it 100 bucks? For parts not working. Okay. Well... Looks like 770 prices has gone up a little bit. We were seeing them at like 80 bucks on eBay the other week. 970 might be the better buy right now. $160 bucks or best offer. If you can offer 130 or 140 on this one, this would be a good 900 series card that is shipped basically available to anyone in the u.s um yeah like 770 and 970 kind of like mid-range and then upper mid-range cards for under 150 bucks okay when can we expect another awesome episode of deal hunter showcase that's probably a few weeks out because as you saw, I didn't post anything this past weekend. And this weekend, I have a friend's wedding where I'm gone the entire weekend, so I can't even finish the video I'm working on right now. Uh, and then Deal Hunter Showcase will likely come after that. I do have the deals already lined up. Like, every when I get the deals, I organize them into folders. Uh, and then I get all the pictures set up and everything ready to go. So I have the next series of deals ready to go. I just... Uh, I haven't had time. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so like two to three weeks okay 1080 ti or 1060 depends on the prices of them but uh i think a 1080 a 10 sorry 1050 ti a 1050 ti would be the better buy in general with uh with average prices you should be able to find those for like 130 bucks 1060s are used they're still going for like 180 190 so I think the bang for buck is in the 1050 Ti, but if you need more performance, then you already know which one to pick. When is Lee making a comeback? Something spectacular? I thought he already made a comeback because he, like when he released his build update video, I thought he was going to at least post every other week or like every few weeks, but he kind of posted that. How long ago was that? Let's see. Cop TV Lee YouTube. So $100? Lee made that video, oh, it was only a month ago, it felt like so much longer. So July 1st, today's August 1st, so it's been a whole month. Maybe he has like another video uh, ready to go coming up. So we'll see. I, I haven't talked to Lee for, since he posted that video, we basically said a few words to each other and then uh, he mysteriously disappeared from DMs again. So um, Budget Tech says, I can't figure out how to submit to Deal Hunter Showcase. Um... Oh yeah, I think you tweeted me about this. I forgot to respond to that. But the instructions on how to submit are on every Deal Hunter Showcase video. So if you go there... Also, if you've seen at least one episode of Deal Hunter Showcase, I think you kind of get an idea of what the submission looks like. You just give your name, where you're from, uh, as many pictures as you can in high quality. You kind of explain the story of your pickup or your deal. Uh, and if you want to, post a picture of yourself. Uh, and then that's about it. Then I do the rest. I put the story together and share it with the viewers. So it's pretty simple. But the last video should have the instructions in the description and where to send it to as well. Um, Lee is not dead, Slippy D. <laughs> At least he still has his ads going. Yeah, that's true. Um, all right, so you're looking for a 10... I'm pretty sure we can find something on eBay. For under 160 bucks, that should be pretty easy to find. But I might have to eat my own words in a second here. Wait, uh, we gotta get through all these fake Chinese cards. Look at all these things. 
This is the best 1050 Ti I have ever seen in my entire life. Look at that. It's glorious. It looks like the same card that Oz bought. Uh, okay, look at all these fake cards. My goodness. Alright, we're gonna have to sort this by... A, we know no one's selling it for under 100 bucks. Oh my goodness. What the heck? Is this colorful? What brand are these cards? No, it's not. Okay. And these are from China, so I gotta sort from US only. US only, here we go. Now we gotta find the, the 1050 Ti's. Here's one for 140 bucks. Is this a legit one though? It looks like it's from Aventus Systems. This looks legit, okay. I would hold off though. I'm gonna link this, but don't, don't buy this yet. Oh, I can't, I gotta go to Bitly. Because this is a one fan card that probably can't work. Yeah. Dude, there's tons of ten you gotta go on eBay, man. If you want a ten fifty TI for under 160 bucks, uh they're all over eBay for 160 bucks. Some of these are best offers you can get for lower than it. So I'm gonna put this search in so you can just click it and be right there. Yeah, don't get, I would, this PNY one looks like it's not going to have that good of cooling. I would get, I, I, I forget if this super clock version uh, for the 1050 Ti, people complain about it. But, um, is there any dual fan ones? This one would be under 160. It's the PNY uh, XLRG. Let's see what else is there. All of these single fan ones. Here's one. This is gonna be a good cooler for under 160 bucks. So that's what I would get. I feel like the 160 is a little high though. I would just buy a GTX 970 at that point um, for the same price. Okay, check Twitter. Is it time to check Twitter? I think we're done with build a PC sales. Uh, we do have quite a bit of time left. I have to. I have a hard cut up at six because I have something to do, but. We still have another 50 or so minutes in stream. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, this is a pretty good deal on Western Digital too. 90 bucks for a 500 gigabyte hard drive. I would pick that up, except I already got a M.2 NVMe on the way. So that's why I'm not getting that. But, um, all right, let's go to Twitter. Give me one second. All right, we got tons of Twitter posts. Okay. Oh, Nathan, Nathan, uh, Nathan E. Are you in the chat right now? Um, I saw your deal. How, yeah, I didn't see any of those. Newegg had uh, in their newest like deals newsletter thing had some pretty good deals. Um, I did not see them on here though. Did they did not make front page? What do we have? Well, an R3 1200 bottleneck, a 970 for the win. Hmm. In some games it will, but I would pair. I would do that pairing. I don't think that's a bad pairing at all. The R3 1200 is pretty awesome. Uh, and it's so cheap too. <laughs> What's up, Bender? Okay. I just got a one terabyte Western Digital Blue SSD to go with M.2 as your new Steam drive. Nice. Uh -huh. Where did you pick that one up, uh, Bender? Let's see. Thank you for tuning in, Espen. 2 a.m. in Norway. And... It, I guess it's summer for a lot of people right now. I don't know how old everyone is in the chat, but I would assume that a lot of people, or at least half the chat, uh, are still in school, so you guys have summer vacation, which is probably going to be ending soon, like in a month. 
Um, you got it from a secondary. That's that's a that's a good tip that I haven't mentioned in a really long time. Uh, going to Amazon and not buying the thing that's showing right away, but like let's go to Amazon and let's just look for a, a random SSD. Um, let's see this Kingston one. Wow, they're getting so cheap, man. Twenty eight bucks. If you go down here uh, in this new and used. You can often find things that are either from the uh, Amazon warehouse, which is used, or just from other sellers, and you can sometimes find it for cheaper. You want to make sure to look at the seller information, make sure they're legit and not some fake. Uh, but this is all you can often find deals. They don't they don't highlight it that much though. It's so tiny compared to you know up here. I thought they used to make it more visible, but uh, nice uh, bender. That's where you got it from. I, I don't know when the last time I bought something on using this was. Okay, Twitter. I'm getting kind of distracted, but then not really because I'm still hanging out with chat. Okay. Uh, so we got Travis posting this. Which one is this? 1080 Ti for 550 bucks. Um, nice. Oh, what version is this? 1080 Gaming Trio. This thing is beautiful. <laughs> Holy crap. For 500. Um, if I had to pick. Wow. This card was just not on my radar at all. Uh, did they have a 1080 Ti Twin Frozer? Just normal Twin Frozer? Yeah, they do. So this is like a higher, I don't know if it's been higher, but we do know it has a cooler looking shroud and RGB. So that's probably, wow. This looks gorgeous. Um, of the two, I would definitely pick up the, uh, I would spend the 50 bucks extra to get the, the MSI one. Because I, I, I think it'd have better overclockability. Okay, we got this from Nathan. Los Angeles Craigslist right here. Okay, so we have a 980 Ti for 275 bucks in Van Nuys. Uh, yeah, this is a good this is a good price. Good price for a good cooler. Getting ready because he updated. You could. No, of course there's no ship. Oh, he's saying he won't ship to people. Okay, but uh, you might be able to offer a little less, like 260 or something, and shave a little bit more off off the price. Uh, definitely, uh, I would pick this up if I needed that performance, which is the, like my 1070, and if I didn't find an amazingly good deal on uh, 1070. Like this is, I think this is good for standard pricing. Okay. We also have next. Oh, Mr. OG. Oh, from Seattle. OG, are you from Seattle? 375 for a 1070 Ti. Mine for a few months. Let's see, how much was a B stock 1070 Ti going for? I think there were maybe 400. Let's take a look real quick. <clears throat> Check out, oh, the 1080 Ti Lightning. Uh, this one, I, I always loved the MSI Lightning cards in the previous uh, gens when they had the uh, yellow cooler. Let's see, did they make a, let's see, like a 980 Lightning. Yeah, like they, they used to always do this yellow cooler for the lightning, but it looks like they they went away from that. 
And it looks like that you're using like a F-35 or... Is that F-35? Or F-15 or some kind of fighter jet for the box art. But this does look... So this looks really cool. But... Let, let's go back to the... But are we gonna? Um, let's see. 1080 Trio. So if we were to compare these two cards side by side. Which one would you guys pick? And... So this one is more color neutral. It's only got white and black on here. Whereas this one has some hints of red. But I don't know, man. The design on this right here kind of looks like... Not like either vents or dragon scales or something. I think that makes it look really cool. With the red kind of popping out underneath. Uh, the lightning is definitely looks beefy. Uh, it's so fat. But uh, if I had to pick between the two, I might vote for this one. Even though it's, you kind of have to have a red color scheme. Um, let's see, the Trio is 11 gigabytes, Lightning is, how does it not just say on the box, Lightning is 11, yeah, they're both 11 gigabyte cards, uh, Travis. <laughs> Lightning all day long, that's so dope, okay. Uh, what web I'm using a Mozilla Firefox. Uh, who's that? Who has that? Frank. I'm using a Mozilla Firefox, and every time I use it, I have to explain why I use it. So, uh, hopefully, you don't ask why. <laughs> that card is sick. That's oh, is that? No way. That's an F22, because F22s do not have that uh, those front vents like that. So. Where is it? So I thought, I think it's the F-35 because of the these fat vents right here. Cause I'm pretty sure the F-22 front, if you look at frontal, does not have that. Oh, or does it? Oh, it does. But what about F-35? You gotta look at aspect ratio and stuff of the wings now. See, what, car, what plane do you guys think that is now? I think the F-35 has shorter wings. It's kind of like kind of fatter in general, and F F twenty twos are more flattened and wide. Now we're looking at airplane or uh, pictures of jets. Frontal. Oh, it's hard to say now because none of the F twenty two is a Raptor. Wait, what is the F thirty five's name? Is it a Lightning? Okay, so I'm going to argue with you and say it's the F-35 because that's the that's the nickname of the F-35. Uh, yeah, it's literally called the Lightning. What well, I totally forgot that. But uh, no, I do agree. They both look pretty similar on the front view. They both have those fat, uh, fat, I, I just want to call them scoops, kind of like hood scoops in cars. But uh, yeah, they have those big fat vents. That... <laughs> Okay, it takes up three expansion slots and it's an overclocking beast. Yeah, that's like their cream of the crop card, the lightning. I really want like an older lightning card. Do they have 680 lightnings? I might have to go for that because it'll, it'll be cheaper and it might look cool. Oh, they do. Oh yeah, I'm, I need to get myself an older lightning card in one of these future builds, used builds. Like this... I think even though it's like the older shell design, I still think it looks cool because that yellow color scheme. Um, can I do you a PC part picker build? Yeah, sure, Amaru. Uh, shoot, it, shoot that over to Twitter or put a bit.ly link. Uh, that's the easiest way. All right, someone posted something they got for $50. So this is Killing Jerk. Uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM for under 60 bucks. I think that's getting to be pretty standard because that breaks down to 30 bucks per 8 gigs. Um, so this is the rip jaw, the infamous rip jaws uh, that almost everyone had in their builds in the early like 2010-ish. I, I had a pair of these and I used these to like build all my friends builds. These exact red ones. Do I have some sitting right here? I don't. I think I already used them but uh, 
and then we have a eBay listing for a bid. Okay. So this is a 960. Wait. No, the thing is dead. Uh, so Fire Falcon, you submitted this for your, us to look at, but I'm not sure. It says that the listing that we're looking for is no longer available, but they found me something else. So this is probably not what you linked, and what you linked probably got bought out because it was a good deal. B stock 1050 Ti. Is it going for that much right now? That's not it. <laughs> so let's take a look. I don't think the 1050 Ti's are that cheap right now. The couple days ago they were. Uh, but I don't think that's their price right now. Yeah, there's none on here for a decent price. Man, something like who's this is a B stock item. Why is this $140 for a ten fifty? Man. No gecko I don't see uh Control F Control F what though? I'm not seeing it. Unless nope, that's not it. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not seeing the one. Like, why don't you uh, shoot a link? But I don't think the 1050 Ti's are going for 90 bucks right now, unless it's already gone. Okay. I opened one of my savings funds. It went a little crazy. Um, you got you. Wait, you got to click on the. Okay, I'm sorry. Oh. Sorry. My, yeah, I totally did not see that was uh, linked. Oh, 80 bucks or 90 with... I don't think shipping was free. So around like 90 to 100 bucks, depending on how much shipping costs for a 962 gigabyte. I'd say that's about how much I would expect to pay for that card. Otherwise, I would go for a 770 or... I guess you can go for a 680, but those are pretty power hungry. Hey, what up, Zach B? Uh, and then JD, yeah. Uh, someone someone tweeted that at me. Uh, the new the new egg deal, deals newsletter with the code. Um, there's a couple of good items on there. We can hop back to that because I think that's all I have for Twitter links. <clears throat> oh, never mind. People just sent more stuff in. Okay, so we're gonna take a look at a. Amaru's 900, the sub $900 mini ITX build. Okay, so he says he's worried about the motherboard, BIOS not working. All right, let's take a look. So I have 2200G for 90 bucks. That's on Amazon right now. We just looked at that. The BioStar X470. Uh, there shouldn't be any issues with, that one should be updated already. Uh, let's take a look. Biostar AM4. Yeah, this should be good to go out of the box. I'm not sure why it says compatibility issues. Um, okay. Brad, Danny, everybody got that $100. Oh, yeah, nice. 1050 Ti for 120 bucks. Also a nice pickup for your friend Brad. Um, where's your friend live again? Is he in Tacoma or Spanaway? Cause I know he's not up north here where I am, right? Okay. If memory prices go down in 2019, that would be awesome. Though, I have a hard time imagining them going down to what they were in 2016. Which was pretty standard 60 to 70 bucks for 16 gigabytes. So we'll see. But back to this build. Oh, man. Okay, so I can understand why you want... Whoa, 100 bucks. That just seems a little pricey. I know it's... You're paying a lot for the last, like, couple hundred megahertz bump in the RAM. Because I feel like you can find 
20 or like 3000 megahertz memory for 20 bucks less or something i don't know even though this is like an apu build i don't know how much benefit that extra 200 uh megahertz will get you so personally what i would just go for like 3000 or even 20 uh 800 megahertz or something um but i mean if you want if you want to spend for the good stuff then by all means so i would get something cheaper in this category for ram but then the solid state drive is pretty good. This is a pretty common deal. It's hard drive, yep, it looks like you're good to go. A 1050 Ti. Oh wait, are you? Do you want me to look at the prices too, Amru? Because if you want me to just look at the build and ignore the prices, then yeah, this all looks good. Uh, but you want me to also look at the prices? Some of these things seem to overprice. Uh, man, is that how much a low profile 1050 Ti costs right now? Okay, should you buy a gaming laptop or PC? Quantum, what do you need a laptop for? Like, are you in school or something? If so, then I think you already know the answer. Uh, when I went to college, I definitely started with the laptop first, and then I got a PC later on. But uh, laptops right now are pretty good. You can get like a 1050 Ti laptop for like 650 bucks, and it'll come with the SSD. So, I mean, the fact that it has the monitor built in and keyboard and all that makes it kind of... Uh, compelling but it really depends on what you use this for you're not gonna be able to upgrade it in the future but you know and then bender i think he's going with the um i think he's going with the apu because he wanted to go with the 13 uh ryzen 1200 rather but th the 2200g is already cheaper um i think the 12 1200 is either the same price or a little bit more um and the 2200g has it's like slightly better but if it costs the same then i would go with for 2200g so that you just have the ability to use uh the integrated graphics down the road if you change the build up or something you know like if you upgrade it then you can throw that into a different pc um well what's this price on the 1200 right now because i don't think they're 90 bucks yeah see I mean, I'm going to open up Newegg, Fry's, and Amazon. All of them are going for 110, 110. Oh, 94. So the 2200G is still cheaper. <laughs> it, it, it's 90 bucks right now on Amazon. So it makes sense to go with that. Um, so for the motherboard, oh yeah. I guess uh, he needs the ITX though. So is, are there any uh, B450... ITX motherboards We could take a look because they look like they're the same price. Why not go for the They're all around the hundred and fifteen whoops 115 120 150 so I think it's 120 is pretty standard Like why not pay a little bit more for x470 right if it's only like five bucks more because he because he needs the itx it doesn't look like there's any budget itx options out there for much less so uh a b350 would be cheaper good point i didn't even think of that yeah so um, is this itx this is a micro m yeah it's micro I don't think there's many cheap options for ITX AM4. <laughs> Anything ITX seems to be about a hundred bucks, unless you guys have found something cheaper. Let me go scope New Egg real quick though. <clears throat> hey, what's up, Goated EJ? Um, <laughs> nice, Brad. Coupon stacking to get things for free. All right, so we're gonna look at these ITX boards to see if we can suggest something better for Amaru, but I don't think we're going to be able to. All right, so we're not gonna go with the A320. That's for sure. And that already starts at 95 bucks. Uh, whoops. Okay, give me one second, gotta respond. Okay. All right. 
you can, I guess you could save a little money by going for this X370, but then you might have to deal with the BIOS updating. Um, you can get this refurbed one, this Gigabyte gaming board. But, but what he has here isn't that bad of a choice, especially since uh, it's the X470 chipset. Because ITX, apparently for AM4, there's only 14 of them on Newegg. So, yeah. What do I look out for when looking for used parts? Um, I mean, lots of hardware can get damaged without any signs of it. Uh, like capacitors and stuff can go, um, but, and I don't know if you can even really easily see that. Um, or sometimes internals, like parts die underneath the heatsink too, so, for like graphics cards anyways. So, the only thing to look out for is if you can get it tested, do so. Uh, otherwise it's kind of risky, which I kind of risk all the time when I do pickups. But I also kind of talk to the, the person I'm buying from for a bit, just to kind of make sure, like, alright, this person seems like a normal person who's not going to uh, rip me off. Even though I did get uh, kind of gypped for that used $100 build during the winter time, uh, when the guy sold me the build that had a uh, kind of messed up power supply um so there's that but that ended up working out fine how do you inspect the graphics card look on the back side of the pcb look for it if there's any kind of like black burn marks to see if anything uh has been damaged and then you can see the capacitors from the front side ah give me one second what the heck uh oh my graphics cards are stuck together like, if I were looking, it's really hard to, to tell, too. Uh, like, so if you, I was looking at a graphics card, I would look on the back side here to see if anything looks out of place. Um, and then I would look underneath here. You can, you can see some of the capacitors, because the guy's probably not going to want you to open it up. You can see some of the capacitors here, see if any of those are kind of bulging. But other than that, um, just look at the general condition of the card too. Uh, if there's like a lot of scratches from being dinged up or something. Um, and then look at how well it's been maintained in terms of like dust. Even though I have bought a lot of dusty graphics cards and there hasn't been any issues. So the best way is to get it tested and you run a benchmark to make sure it works. Though, yeah, Bender is right. There's no real way. Like, it could pass your visual inspection, and then when you get home, it doesn't work at all. Um, that's why you want to test it if possible. Will you upgrade your GPU on the build update? No, I'm not going to upgrade my GPU. I'm sitting pretty happy with the 1070. Uh, and everything else is too expensive. I got this 1070 for so good of a deal that I can't justify buying anything else <laughs> for a really long time to come. Um... Okay, uh, back to, I think pe other people had Twitter, other Twitter things. Where did my Twitter go? Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh yeah, so this was regarding, uh, who posted that earlier? I, someone said, uh, there was a... 1050 Ti for 90 bucks. It was actually this, which was a 1050, not a Ti, for 94 bucks. And I think I looked at that and said, uh, that should be pretty standard because this is a used part and that's not that much lower than MSRP for these cards anyway. Okay, so next Twitter link is from Trey Parker. Okay, he submitted stuff to Deal Hunter Showcase for us. So we got... Wait, did you already get this one? Is this... Oh. 
250 bucks for 8 gigabytes of RAM, i5, 6600K, and a GTX 1060. Does not have a hard drive. Okay, who cares? Those are cheap. Um, looks like it should have a power supply. I see cables for it. So it's everything but that. What RAM is that? That looks like old school rip jaws from this angle. And if it's old school rip jaws, DDR3, unless he has one of those model boards that are Skylake capable with DDR3, then this kind of, this looks a little odd. I don't know. Uh, so I would want to definitely make sure that is indeed a 6600K. I can't see the chipset of the motherboard from here, so that RAM has me questioning it a, li a little bit. Oh, okay, it's uh, DDR4, okay, got it. Oh, you already picked this up, nice. Oh, I, though, I didn't even read the, uh, it says deal of the century, and this is the one that you're talking about, right? Uh, I thought this was like a different post that you found. Yeah, definitely deal of the century. Uh, GTX 1060 for that little. Nice pickup, man. All right, we got... High altitude with the Austin Craigslist. Ooh, the, these 88 uh, DDR4. Oh, yep. Okay. 50 bucks. Yeah, that is a good deal. Is it for both of them? Yeah, 50 bucks for all of this. Because the RAM is worth about. Uh, it's worth more than that. Even though it's 2400 megahertz. And then you get a free i7 <laughs> CPU. Uh, first gen i7. Okay, so next up is good laptop deal by OG Gamer, Mister OG Gamer right here. Helios, I think I saw this. Uh, oh, wait up. Whose affiliate link is this? I see the ref here. Is this yours? Are you trying to get some Amazon affiliate money here? Because um, I know how to look at uh, these Amazon links to see if there's an affiliation. Anyways, so this has a 144 hertz refresh rate. Man, you're spending $1,200. I could have sworn you can get a 1070 laptop. You might not get a 144 hertz screen, but I would hook it up to an external monitor anyways. And I don't know, like, what's so great about this? Uh, it's got the Coffee Lake i7. But that graphics card, for the price, I feel like it's kind of... Kind of underwhelming. No, OG Gamer, it's okay. Uh, that's weird. I wonder if this is... Uh, that rep it, If you saw, like... I think tech deals usually post uh, affiliate links. Or some of those other people uh or other tech tubers on twitter if you saw from there that might be where it's from or if you have it in your uh if it's saved to your browser like you clicked on their affiliate links uh i was kidding i'm not <laughs> i was kidding i was giving you a hard time like um I, i'm not sure i would consider this that great of a deal though at the end of the day it's only a hundred bucks off of what its list price is, and I don't even know it's, if it's worth that much. Like, what's so special about this? I know it has an NVMe SSD, but I just bought a 500 gigabyte or 480 for a hundred bucks. Uh, so I don't know how much this is actually worth. And build quality. Wait, that's true. Um, the Acer Predators. I don't know. Let me try to find another 1070 laptop and we'll take a look at that one to see if it's like one of the lower end, uh, like Dells or something, but. Is the Helios the uh, Acer's top end, like top of the line stuff? Is there a better deal for 8th gen Intel than MSI plus Newegg right now? I'm not sure, let's see. E three seventy. Let's 
Do I have to check my email for that one? Ooh, is it this one? Yeah, it is this one. You don't even need a code, it's just a rebate. Uh, this is the cheapest Z370E I've seen uh, after rebate. I would have definitely got, I would have bought this had it been micro ATX because uh, I don't like full ATX boards because I like smaller cases. Let's see, let's take a look. Let's see. Uh, laptop. Laptop. Uh, let's see what Newegg has right now. But you probably need to find something on a deal to find it for 1200 bucks. We got the electronics. Uh, bare bones. Okay, what else is there? Oh, so 1070 in a laptop. The lowest one right now is this Asus. Is this the Republic of Gamer? Electronics, MSI, Apache. So there's nothing on sale right now from Newegg. But I don't know, 1200 bucks for build quality, I wouldn't spend that for a GTX 1060 on a laptop. Uh, that's just me though. Like some people may want to, to spend that much. Um, just imagine going into Starbucks with that laptop. I have not gone into like a public place with a laptop to game in a very long time, from what I can remember. I think last time I did that was probably in college, like at the library or something. Okay. Oh, when is my next PC build? Uh, next actual build is probably going to be an upgrade. I don't have any builds. Oh, no. Never mind. The next actual build is going to be something using a the GTX 970 that I picked up, the Strix. Uh, and it's going to have a Ryzen 5 in it. I'm building it for a friend. Uh, a sibling of a friend, rather, who wants to edit and play video games on it. So... But that's going to be a, not until September. Your Mc, McBrosy PvP. I'm building my first PC tomorrow. Do you have any advice? Uh, take it slow. Make sure you watch you know those a lot of build tutorials, uh, and then it's pretty simple actually. If you've seen build tutorials, which I'm sure you've watched them, because it's going to be your first PC build, and there's so much information out there. Uh, it's just plugging stuff in for the most part like uh, The only thing is once you get try to get booted up if you plug something in wrong or it doesn't uh, It doesn't show anything on the screen then you start having fun trying to troubleshoot it, but yeah, good luck Um Tech Source's new guide is so straightforward. Uh, how new? I've seen a couple of his build guides, but did he make one like within the last month or week? Uh, okay, back to Twitter. Okay, so we already pulled up the Z370. Um, we got a Craigslist post right here. Is this good? Asks Matt Stoddard. 8 core Xeon Ballistics 64. Wow. Wait, what? Okay. All 
I don't understand what this post is because it said 100 bucks, but it looks like a... So he's selling RAM by itself, 64 gigs. So for 515 divided by 8, 60, 70 bucks. I mean, I guess that's a pretty good price. What's the speed on these things? Hopefully not. So 2400 megahertz. Oh, and these are 8 gig each. It look no. What is the breakdown of this? I should probably just pull up the product. Are these 16 gigabyte sticks? They are 4 by 16 gigabytes. I mean, technically it's a good deal. I don't know if many people have use cases for this because I usually stick to like 8 gig sticks and you don't pay the premium for that. Um, but I mean, this price is technically good if you need 16, 4 16 gig sticks. Uh, you're probably not going to find any used deals like this too because this is pretty specialty. Uh, yeah, so... Technically, that's a good price, <laughs> but 500 bucks, that is an entire build in itself. Okay, next is a mini ITX. Uh, okay, I'm not even sure what this is. What is this super micro product? I have very little experience with like server motherboards and stuff. So this would be like a tech yes city question. I don't know how to answer this, especially since it's this high end. Uh, yeah, don't know how to answer that. Um, Let's see. This 2500K uh, and MSI board for 105. That's in P67. Uh, that seems a little bit more expensive than I've seen. But this guy's been a member of Hard OCP. Okay. So he seems pretty well versed in the used market. So. Yeah, I don't know. This, this is kind of a weird assortment of parts. It's not very what I would call standard, except for like this 2500K and P67 motherboard. But I could have sworn this was like 50 bucks. And maybe this is 50 bucks. So this is, this could actually be a pretty good deal. Yeah, because these older motherboards are pretty expensive. Can't find them for much under like 45 bucks. So this might actually be pretty reasonably priced. Okay, uh, sorry, I'm like getting lost in the Twitter stuff as well as chat. We have about 10 minutes left, but um, Goat says, have you ever thought that you can just keep building PCs and sell them for profit, then still make money on YouTube? Uh, so are you asking if, if I could just do that like full time, just you do YouTube full time as well as build PCs. Building PCs, I know Brian from Techia City does it a lot, but um, I don't know. It's a lot of work to build a PC uh, to get, you know, whatever installed on it. And then to make sure it, it doesn't die on you right away. Uh, to be able to sell it to people and make an honest day's living doing that. And uh, the profit margins, aren't that high. I mean, let's say you make 150 per build. It depends on what you build. Um, I mean, you can sit, easily sink a lot of time into that. Whereas you can go out and get like a normal job and make way more than that, which is what I have right now. I have a, you know, a career in engineering. So uh, I haven't really considered buying and flipping PCs for like a living. I do it for like side money, for play money. That's what I do right now, but not for a, a full living. That's yeah. Uh, I know Brian's doing that. I'm not sure if any other uh, YouTuber is doing that, but it doesn't seem like it could be uh, very sustainable long term, especially if you're doing things like buying a house, getting married, having kids and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's my input on it. Okay. D did I say career? Yeah, my career. 
Um, <laughs> MSI Gaming Laptop. Uh, HL Bates Jr. You gotta give me like a link or something. I have no idea what's in that laptop for 575 bucks. There's like no mention of the graphics card or details on the CPU. Danny, the type of guy to go Irish when he says it's still a great price. Yeah, I remember. A great price? 64 gigs is not, not needed. And some people are saying if you do a lot of rent. Yeah, 64 gigs. I think it's overkill. Am I that boring that you're falling asleep, Mr. OG Gamer? Um, I think that's it for the Twitter, though. We have about a few more minutes, so I'm going to try to wrap it up. We got more Twitter links. Oh, 400 bucks for a Strix? It's a pretty good price. Uh, yeah. If you are in the market for a 1080, I would pick this up. Yeah, because even B stock right now, 1080s are like 450, I think. Even if they are 400, they're not going to be a Strix. So, I would pick this one up. Man, no lowball offers. Price already reduced. Wonder what that means. Can you still offer like 380? Because that's not really lowballing. That's just offering less. Lowball, in my definition, is offering a lot less. Oh, okay. Uh, where are you from, HL Bates Jr.? Um, if you're buying from Tacoma, I'm guessing you're from there. That's where I grew up. There, uh, that's not it. Wait, this is it. Yeah, okay. This looks like an... 870M? Okay. I don't know, I, 870M, I'm trying to think of where that performance sits, because the 8 and 900 series mobile graphics were nowhere near, well, there wasn't even an 800 series card, but um, they were kind of nowhere near their desktop counterparts compared to the 10 series, so that has an SSD in it, and a 1 terabyte hard drive, it says 5. 580 or best offer, and it looks like you said 575. Here, let, let's look for a different computer for you. I think you can find a 1050 Ti laptop for... Hey, look at this one. This is in Renton. Drive yourself to Renton is what I would recommend. And get this one, because it also has an SSD. It looks like it's missing the hard drive, but you would get... A better graphics card and it's less it's only 500 bucks good micro ATX cases with decent amount of room for cable management well you got your Corsair Air 240 this is like cable management king as well as your Corsair 280x I'm just gonna list all the cube cases because that's what I spend most of my uh, time looking for myself anyways. Um, and then I also like, these are all cases I've actually personally worked with, so I can recommend them. I also like the Q300L. Uh, this one, even though it's not a dual chamber, it does have a, a shorter, wider form factor with a lot of room in the back. Yeah, it says it's uh, 28 millimeters, which if we convert that to inches, is about one one inch so it's got that's a plenty of room when i worked behind this thing um yeah i don't know i like these square cases let me know i mean if you guys if anyone else out there has any micro atx cases that you can recommend with good cable management uh let them know too but hey what's up matt you you set your alarm for a midweek sale yeah i didn't see any crazy things pop up um, for the midweek sale, which technically occurs on Tuesday night at midnight, right? Uh, so for your time, isn't that like 3 a.m.? Because I think it's 
West Coast midnight. So you drive a cube, Philip. You drive a is that a Nissan? That's the one with the weird back window, right? Uh, the back, uh, yeah. It's got like it's got like this curved glass on one of the uh, one of the sides, kind of like uh, that thermotake case. <laughs> uh, yeah. The oh wait, no. Yep, it does. Okay, one piece curved glass. There you go. Or not curved, but there's no uh, there's no car chassis in that part. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> okay. Um. Oh man, Philip, you join. You, we got like four minutes left. All right, let's go through your Twitter posts real quick. But we are winding down on the stream right now, everyone. So, uh, just going through the last of the Twitter stuff. And um, let's see. Philip, I don't see your things on Twitter. Oh, there they are. Okay. You drive a Nissan Rogue? Is that also a tiny car? Oh, wait. Nope, it's not. It's a bigger SUV like car. Okay. So we got some Dallas stuff from Philip. We got a $400. 1080 super clock um okay not bad price is firm oh no no, no don't dox him i almost dog oh, oh, this is phone number okay so yeah not uh 400 that's a pretty good pickup 400 not 400 40 bucks for a 50 bq um this fully modular we will take a look 850BQ. Is it fully or semi? It's a semi-modular. Okay. It's hard to tell from the cables. And he didn't show a picture of it. I wonder if that was done purposefully. Of the side where all the connectors go in. Um, I guess you can see it there though. The braided cable. Uh, for 40 bucks though. This would be a pretty good pickup. Assuming it's not like at the end of his life. Did I, did you just call me tiny? I don't, did I call you tiny? When did I say that? I don't think I did. Uh, Space Coast, Tech by Matt with the Craigslist link. But give me a second to finish off uh, Phillips real quick. 1070 for 300 bucks. Um, it's the MSI Gaming Edition. I think, I mean, this is pretty standard pricing. I wouldn't lose sleep if I didn't get this because I've been seeing them pop up on hardware swap for around the same price shipped so uh, I mean it's a good pickup if you're in the market for it is what I would say which I'm not sure if you are Philip because I know you've been talking about upgrading from your 290x but 300 would get my stamp of approval on this one but now Matt says uh, 50 bucks a piece for these it's uh, 760s. I would say so if you were planning on two... Oh, wait, Melbourne. <laughs> uh, wait, 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 wait. I'm thinking of the wrong Melbourne here. Yeah, we're, we're still in Florida here. We're still in the U.S. Um, yeah, they're two gigabyte versions, but two gigabyte never stopped me from buying graphics cards. Cause you know you know what you're gonna use these for. They're they're definitely in the 1080p, maybe even like 900p, 720p ballpark. Um, for 50 bucks a piece, I would pick them up and maybe try to sell one. Unless you have a use, unless you're building two budget rigs, uh, then you can use them in both. But I would, uh, or you, if you're looking to mess around with SLI, um, but I, I'd say those aren't bad prices. Because if you, if you think about it, what can you find that's comparable uh, pretty easily, right? Uh, GTX 1030s are going to be worse than this, but they're more expensive. Uh, 750 Ti's, I don't imagine being better priced. 
uh, 960s are going to be closer to 100 bucks for one. So, uh, yeah, I would pick up. Okay. 1050 for 65 bucks is a really good deal, goaded. Um, well, what is it? Can you go pick it up from the person and take a look at it? It doesn't sound too fishy after seeing some of the Craigslist deals people have posted me, uh, to me, so. Uh, okay. The girlfriend has not come home yet. She has not caused the earthquake in the underground, so that's why I'm still on right now. But once she gets home, we got to get going. So until in the meantime, in between time, <laughs> uh, we're going to take a look at this Grand Rapids Craigslist post from Ogel. Ogel. Okay, 970 for 160 bucks. I thought we found some on eBay for like the same price shipped. I would talk this guy down. Can he be talked down? Let's take a look at the listing. Uh, works issue recently swapped it, so he upgraded to a 980 Ti. He's the second owner. Had over it for a year. Nothing wrong with it. Bought it to use in SLI. And then he's saying that I wasn't aware either that different variants of 970s aren't compatible. Okay. Offer 140 and call it a day. I don't... Yeah. I think you can pick up... I've seen a hardware swap 970s going for 140 bucks. so... Yeah. Hey, Coalition, you are catching, like, the end of the stream. <laughs> the very end of the stream. Uh, okay. Yeah. Just hanging out, looking through the last of the deals, and... 970 for 130 max. Why would you say that, JD? Like, if you needed, right now, to put a bill together for a friend, like, within a week... And they wanted the 970 performance. You're not going to pay a little bit more than 130. Um, and what would you look for as an alternative? I mean, of course, you can always deal hunt for something less. But if you needed one like right now, uh, can we find one for for 130? I know eBay's not going to have it. Hardware swap, they're not going for 130. I guess it would depend on your local area. So. Uh, You can you can find a GTX seven yeah but a seven eighty is not equivalent to a nine seventy and they run a lot hotter and draw more power. You would need a seven seven eighty Ti to be about the same performance. Um, but yeah, I guess a seven eighty for a hundred bucks would be a good price, not for one forty though. The condition of your condition was in. Wait, what are you talking about Nightbraid? I have no idea what you are saying. Uh, mm. Is that in your local area, JD? I have not been having luck in my local Craigslist for 1060s. So let's take a look right now in Seattle and the surrounding areas. Not a GRX, a GTX 1060. Mm, so we're looking at 250 here. Oh, here we go. 165 for a uh, a single fan though. 250 here, 225. There's no 3 gigabyte version. Everyone's are se everyone's selling the 6 gigabyte one for like 220-ish or more. Um 6 gigabyte, 6 gigabyte. Where where are my 3 gigabytes at? 240 for this one's a rip off. Uh 1050 Ti for 170. That's even better. Yeah, so I my local area does not have any good three gigabyte 1060s. And I think let's take let's take a look at eBay because that's kind of a a good upper limit to spend three gigabyte. Uh. Let's see if the uh, press release on the 11 series cards has affected eBay. Yeah, I don't know. Like, 1060s, I do not value that much more than uh, 970. 
but they're still retaining their value somehow. So the cheapest one on here is after shipping is going to be one. Ooh, this one's best offer. But again, I don't know. Single fan cards, unless it's a really good deal, I would rather get a t pay a little bit more for a two fan card. All right, Matt with another link. Here's a 1060 on, is this B-Stock? Oh, here it is, 160. So would I get this or a 970? For a 970 for 140 or this? What, what version was it again? Dual fan versus single fan, $20 difference, one gen difference. Other than that, should be similar performance. That's a tough one. What would you guys pick? Out. Hey, Zach's tech surf. Holy Angelina Jolie. We got all the tech people in here. We got Coalition, JD, Tech by Matt, Zach's tech surf. Wait, JD, tech. You guys all have tech in your name, uh, by the way. I'm not sure if you guys noticed that. We got all the tech tech tubers up in the house. Thanks for catching the stream, even though we're gonna end pretty soon. Um, here's your guys' chance. This is a great uh, opportunity for you guys to also ask them questions because in the chat, hanging out uh, and stuff like that. But tech fam, I am Comp TV does not have tech in his name, and then I don't have tech in my name. Coalition also doesn't have tech in his name, but we can still be concerned the tech fam. Yeah, just waiting for Linus Tech Tips to jump in uh, anytime soon here. <laughs> um, oh yeah, warranty. Good point. People bring up the good points. This has the warranty on it. Uh, so you do get a year warranty on this one. Limited one year warranty. And if it fails with 11 series card releases and they don't have any more of these, they might upgrade you to the 11 series cards if you're lucky um yeah i don't know it, it's hard i would probably pick this up for 140 just because i love the 970s um and aside from the cards that i had to send back i've had a pretty good run with graphics cards so i i think this would last over a year so then that would make the warrant that would be past the warranty date yeah Okay, JD needs to up his Twitter game. Been tripping lately. Oh, you talking? <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? What? How has JD been tripping on uh, Twitter? Touchscreen accuracy. Oh, you talking about like uh, spell? Yeah, man. Here's one. Like they don't. I don't want the ability to edit tweets. I want the ability to turn on in my settings. Uh, I have to double tap to send a tweet out. So like right when I click send, it says like a confirmation window pops up. Are you sure you want to send this? So it gives me the extra split second to like see if I made a mistake or not. Um, cause usually you see your mistake like literally seconds after posting. So a confirmation window or like a, a delayed send button where it would send a minute later, that would be a great option. There's Twitter timer for that, but I want it built into Twitter. That'd be nice. Two hundred dollars for a ten sixty three gigabyte used is very expensive, and I don't know if I would buy it new. It feels pretty expensive. <sighs> he has people to do that. Uh, oh, Linus, it uh, Travis Lee says Linus is a quack. Um, do you mean a quack in like kind of a good way where he's kind of eccentric or do you mean quack is in like you really don't like him? Because I, I really like Linus. Uh, he, I mean, he kind of represents for all of the PC tech or like he's what people watch first when they get into, 
uh, PC tech stuff on YouTube. And I think he said this recently in the thing with Gamers Nexus. And then that's when people can branch out and look for more detailed things like used parts or like higher end things, what liquid uh, custom loops and stuff like that. So Linus is a good gateway to bring newcomers into the PC space. Uh, so I appreciate him for that. Um, yeah. How do you post links again? Send it to my Twitter. That is how. <laughs> You picked up your fifth job a week ago? Wait, JD, Tech Crimson. When, wait, when you say fifth job, do you mean like you're working five jobs at a time right now or you're just like on your fifth job but you've quit other jobs, JD? Yeah, Linus, oh, Austin Evans was your gateway into PC hardware? I think Austin didn't, uh, I guess he did have a couple of builds here and there, but because he is so, he does a lot of general like phone tech and other things like that too. His stuff didn't pop up for me as much as Linus did. Then after Linus, I think Jay naturally popped up in the suggestions. Uh, I'm trying to think of all the, and then Hardware Connects definitely popped up in there too. Um, trying to think of, it's hard of like what got me into PC stuff on YouTube, but Linus was definitely one of the first ones. Tech in general though, it was definitely MKBHD. Cause anytime you had a phone question or like a camera question, uh, he would kind of be on top of that stuff, especially back in like kind of near when he started his channel. Uh, there wasn't that much uh, competition doing high quality stuff like him. So I think in MKBHD is one of my earliest memories of tech on YouTube, uh, consuming a lot of content. Uh, okay, five jobs at once, one each day of the week. How does that work, JD? And how am I just hearing about this now? Um, that's crazy. Are they... How did you find these jobs and what are they if you are willing to share? Or if you're going to do like a personal vlog or Q&A on it, then I will wait and watch that. But five jobs at once, that seems like a lot to maintain and think about. My Twitter bender is at nerd on a budget. It should be in the links down below unless I have failed and did not put them there. Oh yeah, Paul's Hardware and Kyle probably came sometime after that uh, when I started noticing their content. <laughs> um... Wait, uh, ZTT emojis. Are you talking about from like a Discord or something or? Because YouTube doesn't have personalized emojis, right? I know Twitch does. But I don't think I've heard of you streaming on Twitch, Zach. If you did, shoot a link over. FreeX. Is that a full build, FreeX? Or is that just... Oh! Y'all hear that? It is time. Yeah, is it just those two parts? Because that's definitely not worth 500 bucks. If it's a complete build with a i5-7400 with a GTX 1060, uh, I, I would think so, assuming it has like the standard 8 gigabytes of DDR4, at least hopefully a SSD, uh, you know, a decent power supply, and a not super cheap case. I think 500 is about what you should be looking to spend for a system of that performance. Um... Oh, okay. I'm still not a part of the whole Discord thing. I, I don't know. I can't get into it. Um, especially since, man, Lee's Discord channel had quite a bit of drama. And that was the one that I was in for our when we were doing Window Shop Weekly together. And the drama I saw there, I was like, ooh, I don't know about that. So I'm kind of laid off Discord for a while. <laughs> oh, got to close the door in case she walks into the doorway. So you guys can't see. Okay, but we gotta go soon. Uh, like right now, I should actually. So thanks everyone for uh, popping into the stream. Uh, no video this weekend again because I'm going to be at a wedding. So, uh, oh yeah, I said I was going to explain why I'm going to keep it on YouTube and not Twitch for now. And it's because I think the people who attend this stream are like the most dedicated viewers. Um, 
And I want to keep it on YouTube because you guys are the ones that are coming here watching the live stream. It's definitely not as popular as any of the other content I made. But you guys come here to watch this, so I, I think it's right for me to stay loyal to doing it on YouTube because you guys get your notifications. You can easily pop it open on your phone or wherever you're at. Uh, most people are logged into YouTube like, you know, 24-7. Whereas Twitch, I don't think a lot of people would want to have to go through that extra hoops to jump over to the Twitch by me like posting a video saying I'm doing a stream on Twitch and then having to go there and possibly having to log in and stuff if you're not like a Twitch user in general. So uh, YouTube is, you know, where most of my viewers are from and you guys are the dedicated ones to actually tune into the stream uh, to watch it live. So I'm going to keep it here for now anyways. Uh, but that might change in the future. We'll see. Um, but yeah. Uh, I will see you guys in probably either the next stream or if I do like a mini video. But thanks for watching. Hi. Ah! They see your face. I think they saw half your face. But, um, well, you guys just saw G Phobes half of their, her face. But um, yeah. Oh, sweet. Thanks, Travis, for the $2 donation. Twice? Did you mean to do that? Do you want a refund? Um, but yeah. Uh, thanks for uh, catching the stream. I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you for all the mods and all the tech tubers for uh, joining in. I really do appreciate it. Um, I need to pop in. Well, I don't think... So, Coalition, I know, streams after me, which I usually can't catch because I'm gone. Like, I'm leaving right now. Uh, JD streams on Twitch sometimes. I haven't been able to catch that live. And Matt, you used to have a live stream. I haven't yet, but... I gotta hop into your guys' streams when you guys do so too. So that's a reminder to myself. Um, but yeah, everyone else have a good night. Uh, and I will see you next time. <laughs> Bye.